Hi, you guys. It's another month and I swear no April Fool's going on here. I have got a ton of plans. I think that you can just really tell that I love spring. I'm just immediately rejuvenated by all the sunlight, by the longer days um the fresh new energy things growing in the garden all of that just has me jazzed because i have so many ideas for projects and just not enough time and a lot of these ideas some of them are new um but a lot of them i've had kind of festering in my head for a while um and I'm just itching to be able to have the time um, to get them sewn. So I'm going to show you all my plans, including um, works in progress and patterns and fabric combinations I'm be working on this month. But before I do that, I just want to say hello to anyone who is new here. I'm Lindsay. Welcome. I sew all my own clothes and use this channel to talk about it like a lot. Um, so if you want, uh, introduce yourself in the comment section below so that I can give you a formal hello. For everyone else, please be sure to like this video so that YouTube knows it's awesome and will suggest it to other people like us and our little fam can grow. Um, okay, so first things first, let's talk about works in progress. So this skirt, <clears throat> Simplicity 9267, was completely sewn completely sewn had all the buttons on and everything and then i put it on and it didn't fit say la vie um mostly my fault because i made this too small of a size in the waistband i think or made some bad choices in construction i'm not sure what happened but i have the bottom of a skirt and i'm torn about what to do there is a chance i'm just gonna throw elastic on top of this and call it a day I do have the original waistband that I could modify and add like something in the back um, to make it fit. But for now, this is all I've got. So I've got to figure out a plan for this. I do like the skirt. I don't want people to think that that's a bad pattern or anything. I think that the waistband um, just ended up too small somehow. Somehow. I'm not sure how. <laughs> It's not the pizza, it's not my diet. Somehow the waistband ended up too small. So I've got to fix that, making it a little bit adjustable too. Probably not a bad idea, you know what I'm saying? Um, I also have the Petite Stitchery Ramona Shacket. This is where I've gotten on this. I mean, it looks really good. I know I'm excited about it too. Um, got the sleeves on, patch pockets. I just need to do the collar and... Um, kind of got stopped in my tracks with this one because I ran out of my favorite interfacing. So I had to order some of that. Um, comes from Thermoweb, the Heat and Bond. Love, love, love their interfacing so much. So Ramona Shacket, probably another day on this and it'll be done. I've got to do cuffs and collars and then the button front. Um, so another day to go on that. Then I've got this Palmer Plush McCall 7695. Um, a little vest, probably getting close to not being able to wear it anymore, but I do want to finish it because it's been in my work in progress for a while, but here's where we are with it. Very, very close. Now I have, um, what's it called? Bound all of these raw edges in this pleather bias binding, not for the faint of heart. <laughs> You really have to like not be irritable. You have to not have any anxiety. You have to be in like a complete Zen state because this will send you over the edge if you're at all frazzled. Um, and in an effort to kind of help myself, this pattern comes with a pocket that has like a little bit of an angle. Do you see on the side of her body, that little angled pocket? That, binding that, whatever degree angle that is, impossible so I just made them square or rectangles and I think they're totally fine um but I just adore everything about this I think we're we're getting really we're getting really close with this one I just have to do this one pocket and then also the arm size um and then I've got to figure out something with the zipper tabs because the zipper tape is exposed on the inside that was the only way I could bind this in the leather I've got to figure out some kind of plan, um, whether that's unpicking this from the inside and then tucking the end in there and then hand stitching it back closed. That's probably the most logical thing to do. Um, 
but yeah, I just have to figure out a plan for this little guy as well. Um, so really close. It's going to be really cute. I would love to be able to um, wear it like over like a form fitted knit, like rib knit black dress. I think that would be really cute, but also like, I don't know, bodysuit or something like that I think would be so, so, so fun. Um, so working on that. And then you guys saw the vest that I wore and also talked about in the March makes video. This is the matching skirt. I have got all of the buttonholes done. I just need to put on their buttons. So that's just a matter of, is this the front? Yeah, just a matter of sitting in front of the television, watching a program and getting those in. Um, the skirt fits okay. Um, I'm eager to show you guys to see what you think because I'm trying to talk myself into more pencil skirts or, I mean, this one's kind of A-line and I'm not sure if I'm really convinced that this is right for me. I'm actually not 100% sure that skirts are for me at all, which is interesting because I have two more <laughs> I'm planning on sewing this month. Like I'm trying, but I, hmm, I don't know, between the, uh, the fail on the other one with the waistband this one, to be determined, I'm going to show you guys whenever it's done. I'm just feeling like they might not be my favorite thing to wear. But we'll see because, like I said, I have two others that I am sewing. This is that pattern I just showed you. Vogue 9209. This version here. So cute. Or maybe the knee length version. Um, and like I said, only need buttons on that. Um, the first skirt... Well, one of them is a skirt and one of them is like culottes. Um, so I have this that I just picked up at the most recent Simplicity Sale, 1069. That just felt really springy to me and also very wearable. I do find myself reaching for flowy, elasticated. Oh, wait, now that I look at this, they're not elasticated at all. Look at this line drawing. I don't know what I thought this was. It's a wrap pant wrap skirt. I don't know, but it's fitted. Either way, I am reaching for flowy, lightweight stuff. And I've had this fabric in my stash for a while and have never made anything with it because I don't love the color close to my face. But if we made it into a pant, I mean, even this like monochromatic with this t-shirt that I'm wearing, I think would be really cute. I don't have a ton of it, but there is a short version. See? Um, that I think could be really cute. High-waisted always looks really good on me. Um, it doesn't look like it has a wrap. It just has that bow, which I may or may not leave on, but it's got two darts in the front on each side and also single darts in the back. And then it looks like it zips somewhere. I don't know. I'm just going to take a closer look at this and see what I think. But this is like a tinsel twill, so the weight of it would be a little bit meatier than just like a chalet or something. Um, so it could be really cute. And would get this out of my stash because I don't want it as a top. Do you guys agree on the coloring? Like when I wear the bright coral, you get this and then this, just kind of meh, right? Okay. Um, the other skirt I've talked to you guys about already, Vogue 1872 love this skirt this is a traditional wrap skirt with the like handkerchief hem on a circle everything about it is gorgeous um when i ordered the fabric from fabric.com um i didn't meet the minimum requirement for free shipping but they were like oh we have it at amazon so i went to amazon and i ordered two yards of each like i need fully expecting to get two cuts of fabric one of each but they sent me individual yard cuts I laid it all out and it's gonna work out, it's gonna be fine. Not worth the trouble of sitting back and trying to get the, the full yardage anyways. Um, so it's gonna be fine. So I just gotta, you know, have a little bit of a make it work moment. Thank goodness it's like big, big pattern pieces that are blocked um, so that I could pull this off. If I had a whole bunch of like little pattern pieces, that would be really annoying. So um, that's gonna work for the Vogue skirt. I've also got the Rachel Comey dress still to cut out. I talked about this last month, Vogue 1859 in this neon green. Love this color. Love, love, love this color so much. So gonna make that out of that. 
And then I've got a couple more ideas. I told you the ideas are plenty, but I've just had these fabrics in my stash for so long and I just wanted to start wearing them. And I feel like I'm finally like hitting my stride with what my personal style is like post COVID, um, post corporate life, you know, now that I'm here in Charlotte, been here for a while, kind of established like my routine here, like things that I'm doing for fun. Like what would I wear to those things? Um, I did pick up this simplicity dress at the last sale, eight, three, eight, four. I just love the simplicity of it. I love the handkerchief hem version. I also love the sleeveless version. Um, they're all really cute and just looks simple and easy to wear and would be super flattering because it's kind of like a fit and flare. And this <laughs> is a stunning Carolina Herrera zebra print that I got in New York City a few years ago, the last time that I went. Um, it is a cotton poplin or stretch sateen, one of the two, and it just needs a home already, right? So I figured I could make it out of that. The simple designs of the dress complement the kind of crazy designs of the, of the zebras and then wearing it with white sneakers, you know, kind of playing it down a little bit, dress it up, dress it down. Um, I think it could be a really, really fun statement to wear on the weekends when I'm going to brunch or going, you know, not just to run errands, but like have an activity to do. Um, so that is that. And then lastly, I got this at the last sale also, um, 8558. I love it. Like I can't get it out of my mind but I don't have a great fabric for it for spring. All I have that would work because you need something with structure and drape, like a tinsel twill would be great, but structure and drape for the blazer and the pants, the shorts to match. And all I really have is this linen that's this like eggplant purple color. So I might try and push this off to like September where I'll be able to get more use out of it. I mean, trust me, Shorts and a blazer and a crop top in September is just as useful here as it is in April. So that's what I'm thinking for that. Resisting the urge to buy new fabric for this and try and make it work out of this, but in another season. So this might get pushed off, but I have, if somehow magically I can get all that done, <laughs> I have so many other ideas with all this stash fabric. As you can see, this little guy up here is all lightweight, drapey, rayons, crepes, things like that. And this is all slightly heavier weight versions of that. These two bins are so full and they have been full for way, way, way too long. So I need to get in there and I need to start coming up with ideas on how to sew those um, and getting them into my wardrobe ASAP. So that's probably gonna be the plan for the, the entire second quarter of this year, April, May, and June. Um, so we'll see. I'm, I, like I said, have ideas. I just need to find the patterns to be able to execute them. But I want to know what your plans are for April. If you've got like a big thing that you're sewing for, whether it's a wedding or I mean, Easter, right? Aren't people making Easter dresses? I want to know like what your Easter dress uh, plans are. If you're making matching things for your children, like what are we doing? What are we sewing in April? I want to hear all about it. I have linked here in the in slate my March makes video so that you can see everything that I sewed last month. If for some reason that you missed that video, it's here in the in slate. Click the bottom right of your screen and it'll take you right there. But other than that, like I said, I'm, I'm busy, so I gotta go. And I will see you all very soon. Bye.